A couple videos back I talked about making a hard drive test jig with this mini ITX Intel board. I got this enclosure from RMX77 here on YouTube and I'm going to be using this to house everything. It actually used to be a, I believe a small Seagate server of some sort. I think it was a Seagate, I don't remember. But I took all the plastic covering off of it to make it smaller. And uh, I'm going to mount a cooling fan in here in place of the hard drive. And it's going to boot up off of flash and just run HDAT2. I have to order a power supply to fit in there. And also, the connector for the front panel is one big piece, which is not going to fit on this header here. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is I salvaged all the uh, front panel connectors from a case I just stripped. They actually had this old socket 939 board that I used to use at work was in it. You probably saw that a couple videos back too during my work PC upgrade video. That case, that uh, white case that this was in was really bad shape, had a bunch of stripped out screw holes and dents and scratches and other stuff so I just stripped it and uh, kept all the front panel cabling and I'll use those plug housings for these existing pins and then hook them, hook them up to this board. Also got a little little mini uh, piezo speaker for testing and USB headers and also uh, power and hard drive LEDs those will come in handy for testing and power switch and reset switch it's great for when you're testing a board on the bench uh, without a case and you, and you don't feel like using a screwdriver or something to jump pins for reset or power or anything like that but anyway Let's see how far I can get this thing put together before I got to order a power supply. Okay, here's the front panel connectors with their new housings. They're also labeled properly. And now I can plug them into that board without any trouble. I'll reuse this uh, old housing for something else later on. The pins are the exact same series. If, as long as the housing looks exactly the same on the back, you can uh, transfer the pins over from the one piece over to the discrete connectors like these. Well I decided that buying a new power supply would have been too expensive. They're usually around 50 bucks for a good one in this form factor. So I found this one in my scrap pile and uh, it turned out to be in usable condition. It's got a lot of hours on it but it's still, still good enough to run a test jig. And there was some wires cut off and I took advantage of that and just Spliced on the connectors that I needed, which were a pair of hard drive style Molex connectors and a pair of SATA connectors. I also had the 3.3 volt wire in the SATA connector connected inside the supply. Normally you don't need the 3.3 volts for like a 3.5 inch hard drive, but some laptop hard drives and SSDs, from what I understand, will use that 3.3 volt line. So I decided to go ahead and connect it up anyway in case I ever test one of those type of drives on this machine. But I think this power supply will work just fine. Well that was odd. This power supply has the fan screws lined right up with the mounting holes where it would mount into the case. And if I were to flip it over it would block the intake vents. So I'll just use the little reinforcement bracket that mounts up here to help keep the power supply in place. No big deal. I'm ready for the first test with an actual drive connected now. Finally got um, a DOS, uh, how should I say, a, um, I made a bootable USB stick with DOS on it for HDAT2. And uh, all I got to do now is put a button on the power switch so I don't have to keep pushing it with a screw. And of course I'm going to pretty it up a little bit and uh, pair it up with a really small LCD and I might even make a custom uh, keyboard for it eventually that just has the essential buttons mapped out to a little control panel but for now I'm just going to give it a quick test run the fan in that power supply has got some dry bearings but it still works I've got a, um, a small laptop SATA drive connected it was actually out of my netbook when I upgraded it this thing boots up like instantly I mean it's so fast you can't even see the <laughs> 
the whole boot process before the screen comes back. It's already in the program. Smart menu. Let's see how many hours are on this drive. Only 226 hours. That drive is practically brand new still. Uh, I only used it for one vacation trip before I put a bigger drive in it. So and this, this hard drive is in primal condition. Do a sector scan on it just for the heck of it. So now I've got a nice little handy test jig to test both SATA and IDE hard drives. It won't take up nearly as much space as the full tower case that I'm using at work right now. And um, like I said, I'm going to integrate this into a self-contained little little bench test jig just for testing hard drives.